So it's time for the weekly update. It's early in the morning, it's eight o'clock here at Fishy Business. And as you can see, we're mining um, filter socks. <laughs> I think that's what we're doing, is that right? Something like that. Something like that. Trevor is here in the back. You can hear it all over the store. He is cleaning filter socks because the day at Fishy Business begins just as early as your day. Let's get on to the weekly update. So, okay, all kidding aside, uh, there is a tank shortage coming up again. Uh, we're starting to see it get slower and slower with where we're getting certain types of tanks. So because we just got in a fairly decent load and some of you may be shopping or in the market for a tank, I want to take you quickly through some of the new stuff that we have. So if you will follow me, we're going to do that really quick before we get to the fish. Okay, I'm going to try to do this kind of really fast. Just to take you through some things, we did get in a 110 drilled, so we've got that. 65s came in, I've got them drilled and undrilled. Right here, I've got a 180 drilled. I think this is my only 180. No, I think I have two 180s at the moment. Uh, that came in. I've got a 150 that's drilled. Brand new uh, standing canopy came in with it yesterday. And I've got the black uh, 150 right here that is undrilled. Cool thing that I got, and I didn't realize I had, was a 210. Uh, I've got a 210 right now, so if you're looking for something bigger, bigger footprint, and to do something really cool, I've got this as well. Okay, while I don't have a tank stand for it yet, one is being made, I got in a 120 extra high. This is a five foot 120, so I wanted to show you that real quick, because it's pretty rare that we get in five foot tanks, and I've got one right now. I've got Red Seas out on the floor now. Uh, these have all been boxed up in the back and I haven't been able to get them out yet, but we did that yesterday. So I've got a couple, the Red Sea uh, Reefer 300. I've got a 260 and I think this is the 525. Yeah, this is the 525. So if you want a turnkey aquarium with beautiful glass, a sleek design, modern look, Red Sea is the tank for you. Bio cubes are back in stock and they are on sale. We've got uh, complete kits for them. Easy turnkey small aquarium and 32 gallons. You can do fresh or salt water. Our number one sold aquarium. Last but not least, a drilled 120. Uh, this just gives you a quick overview of some of the larger tanks that we have in stock right now. We've got some smaller stuff as well. Uh, we've tried to kind of head up the whole glass thing with the aquariums and get as many in as we can. So right now we are sitting pretty comfortable until they start to slow down. That's a quick overview. Let's get on to the fish. Lots and lots of cool fish came in with fresh water. And one of the coolest that we don't see very often, especially at this size, is the elephant nose. Uh, these are fish kind of like the black ghosts that are triggered by electromagnetic impulses in the water. Uh, they're a, a fairly reclusive fish, but when they make a showing, they look really, really beautiful, uh, unique, and a completely different type of fish. So if you're into odd fish, you're going to really like this video. Silver Dollars came in at a small size. We haven't had these in a long time, and I've got a nice group of schooling Silver Dollars. Now these go great with barbs. They'll go great with just about anything up until they start growing and getting some size. We recommend them in a semi-aggressive system, but they're a great schooling fish. Again, they get really nice size, and they are beautiful to look at. Amazonian glass tetras. I can't remember the last time we had these, but a see-through body tetra, kind of like the glass catfish. Uh, really, really cool, unique, and a wonderful schooling tetra. Okay, rope fish are back in stock. We typically sell out of these every time we get them in. We have not had them in a while. If you want a conversation piece for your tank and an eel type fish that stays out, uh, the rope fish are really, really cool. Flag tail prochilidus. Every time we get these in, they go pretty fast because we don't get offered them very often. But another really cool fish that came in this week in the oddball section. I'm telling you, if ever you wanted some different types of fish, this is a great week to come to Fishy Business. The nasty wolf fish. Uh, nasty only because of how aggressive it is. Beautiful because it is so different. Uh, this wolf fish actually has some size. Uh, we only have one and it probably won't stay here long, but if you're in the market for something completely different, that is a great conversation piece uh, wolf fish of this size we don't typically have very often. 
tire track eel came in. It's so new, it didn't even make it on the tank as far as pricing yesterday. I think I've got a couple of these, but not very many. This is a great eel in that it's not aggressive. Uh, we'll spend a lot of time burrowed in the sand with its head sticking out. Uh, great if for feeding like blood worms and things that sink to the bottom, pellets, things like that. But he just popped his head out of the gravel. That's actually the only way I saw him in here. And a really, really cool eel. He might even go back down real quick. That would just be too much of a show. You can't pay them to act for you. Okay, I got three electric blue lobsters this week, varying in sizes. You can see the one to the left is more of a medium, while I've got a little one that's right here to the right, and I've got one other one. But these are young specimens. They all came in yesterday, and they are beautiful. And you're, if, if you're in the market for a crayfish, a uh, bottom-dwelling scavenger, these are one of the coolest you can have. Man, did the electric blue jack Dempsey's come in nice this week, and we got a lot of them. The blues, the turquoise on this fish are just phenomenal this week, popping on every single fish. They're active. They've been just, man, these are probably the best electric blue jack Dempsey's we've got. They're at a great price. They're not the tiny, tiny ones, but of course they're not super big either. Uh, that's all I can say. They're fantastic. Okay, I normally don't uh, put neons in the video just because they speak for themselves and usually sell out every time, but I got a nice group of them this week. Phenomenal color, great size, active in the way that sometimes when we get neons, they're not so wonderful. So, well, we've had them for, I guess, two days now, one day now, and they're just doing fantastic. Probably one of my favorite rainbows of all, the Werner Eye Threadfin Rainbows. Usually they don't come in as colored up as you see them and showing off the way you see these males, but it is a wonderfully beautiful dwarf rainbow that just has so much personality. Artistically, it's what I love about them. It's like an abstract painting on a fish. Uh, they're very, very cool. You can do a small tank of them. Even if you already have an established tank, it's, it's worth setting up a small planted nano tank just to have a few of these beauties. Gorgeous Pictus cats just came in. We haven't been able to get uh, the four-line Pictus in a little in a little while. These are great scavengers for a semi-aggressive to an aggressive tank. Uh, love them. One of my favorite barbs, if not my personal favorite, are the black ruby barbs. I love the color combination. It's almost like a it, it's almost like black on a cinnamon color, and it varies from fish to fish the intensity of that cinnamon color. Uh, as you can see them swimming around here, but they're a fantastic fish for a semi-aggressive tank. And again, uh, to get them in like this, fat and big, it's just just too cool. My favorite uh, reef safe angelfish of all the coral beauties, Centropygi bispinosus. For those of you who love Latin, this is uh, a great fish, hardy, long-lived, and great in just about any application with the exception of being with a lot of big mean fish. Uh, great fish, and as you can see coming through here as well, the yellow mimic tang, probably one of the hardiest fish that we do sell. A beautiful fish that I think every single one that we get in has some different color scheme, uh, but a very, very beautiful fish. One of my favorite triggers, just because of its adaptability in so many different situations, the male blue jaw trigger. Uh, while it is termed reef safe, it is, it's like every trigger. It's opportunistic in its own way, but it is one of the safer uh, triggers to use around invertebrates and in a smaller tank. As they get bigger, they can every once in a while po uh, pose a little bit of a problem, but for the most part, this is probably your most complacent communal trigger fish. Uh, not only that, it is absolutely gorgeous, a hardy trigger fish, and I got one. With most people having reef tanks today, there's not a big call for groupers, but there are a few people out there that have their, still have their fish only tanks, and for those of you with big fish or aggressive fish, the Polini grouper is one of the most beautiful fish you can have. A fish that has a base color of yellow with purple stripes all over the body, uh, is hardy, obviously, because it's a grouper, typically easy to get to feed and long-lived. This is a grouper to have. Okay, the striped dog face puffer. Everybody loves puffers. 
uh, just because they're so unique. And this little guy came in yesterday. So if you've been in the market for like a dog face type puffer that's not too expensive and that has a lot of uh, design to it, I guess you could say, the striped dog face might be for you. Okay, uh, I've been getting plenty of the normal red firefish, but I have not gotten purple firefish in a while. Uh, there they are. So I got, I sold one yesterday. I think I've got maybe three or four left. Uh, this is a beautiful firefish, lots of color. It's not as expensive as the uh, Helfrix, and it's not uh, quite as cheap as the red, but it is a great mid-priced firefish. Uh, while the shrimp won't come out at the moment, I got two sets of Pink Spot Watchmans and Tiger Pistol Shrimp. Uh, they're a pair, they're a symbiotic pair. Uh, both the shrimp and the Watchman Gobi live in a little cave together that they build, and both assist each other with different types of duties that only they understand. Uh, one defends, one feeds, one feeds, one defends. Uh, it's very cool to have symbiosis like this in the wild, and it's even cooler to have in your own tank. Okay, so here's the skinny. That's all the saltwater fish that I got in highlighted from yesterday. However, the big shipment is due in today. That would be Thursday. Uh, it will be out, and you can look at Facebook to see uh, what did come in. We will post that stuff as fast as we can. But those are the highlights from the pre-week saltwater shipment. There will be a lot more. Sorry I'm not Reagan. Uh, I know I'm not as pretty, but I'm what you've got. I want you to have a great week. Come see us. There's a lot going on here at Fishy Business. God bless, and I'll see you next week.